have to press start again. Cool. So, wicked. Are we good to go behind? <coughs> after this white one. Very good. That's a lovely frame of mind. After it, that shows that you're not staring at it, you're looking at the spaces. Well done. Good. When you check your blind spot in relation to moving. Yes, good. Happy to go. Nice job. And that was great. That was perfect. Exactly what we needed to do. What should we do with a feet, Aaron? Go on then. Well done. Oh, How do you do a smoother gear change? By lifting my get foot off the clutch. Um, slower. Slower. Not just so quicker speed. down, slower back up. Okay. It's a 30 limit. What have we said about the head-up display? I don't know. Ignore it. Okay. It is a 30. It's a 30. All right. Off we go, I need to get you going up to three. Now start dealing with the parked car. Oh, should I have stop? Done? Yes, you're fine. Look at the parked car and who's who's overtaking us because you're slowing down, Erin. Yeah. Now you need to because the silver one behind. Is it clear to go after it? Yeah. Classic case of arrive there, then look. You have yeah. to get your eyes further, all right? gentle with your feet yeah you're gonna use them more but in a gentle way well done now how much is coming through side to side not a lot what could we do in prep yes good do we yes very good and this time great work with your foot brake keeping it there until the hand brakes on perfect so as we go through this what are we going to have a little check for people coming left who Ambulances. Good. People. Quick check. That will do. But you're steering as you're doing it, Erin. Oh, and you're slowing down. It's not a giveaway. Yeah. All you're doing is continuing and having a little glance, a little glance for the emergency situation. Nothing more. All right. your hands come on and you still look every single time you do a gear change you stare down at that line yeah come on you should be looking where the white car is not even the black one in front beyond that you have to learn this now all right because that's your go-to and your go-to is still causing you problems isn't it yeah come on work with it now we're gonna have a little practice and around well keep going Keep going. You don't need to slow back here, Erin. All right, keep going. You have to learn to use your brakes and look and choose on the way in. All right, good. We're going to turn left. I'm going to give you a fair bit of help with this. How close is the car behind? Quite. Wicked. So we're going to put a left signal on now. Use your brake all the time now until you're certain to go. Have a listen to your engine and start looking at your roundabout. What gear will we need to pick, do you think? Two. Clutch down, pick it then. Now, get around the bend and have a look. Do we need to brake more? Yeah. Or do we go? What do we do? We go. go. Gas then. Look far now. Far. Up. And what should we do if it's clear, Aaron? Again, you're looking at that and steering away from it. You have to relax your hands. You should be looking where the black car is. Yeah. But you weren't. You were zigzagging between the bollard and the kerb. Yeah. <laughs> you have to learn now to look up. Leave the gear. Go a bit faster. Good. Next gear then. Well done. Nice job. All right. Good. Keep going. Come on, because you've got your gear and slow down again. Are you looking close to the floor? Are you looking up where that junction is around the corner? You liar. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. You're going towards this curb, follow it, follow the shape of my curb. Now you're going towards it again. You're going towards it, Erin. Keep to the left, we're turning left. Put the left signal on. You've got to be braking now, come on. How sharp's the corner? Fine. Off the brake. Off we go. Come on, you're fine. That wasn't as smooth as I wanted to be. Thanks, Kieran. Like Aaron. Good. So, what am I asking you that for? Do you think? So I speed up. Okay. When are you going to take that off me? When are you going to start doing that on your own accord, rather than staring at the floor? Come on. 
one because I've just been talking about that and you're still doing 20 miles an hour and the road's lovely, isn't it? Okay, have a listen to your engine. Okay, sound. Now keep going because again you've got third gear and slowed down. That's not what we get the high gear for, but we're going to take the next road on the left that's just coming up here. Who's behind us, Aaron? Okay, get signalling. Now, get braking and looking to see how sharp this road is and pick your appropriate gear. You stand on the floor. What are you doing with your car? What gear? Where are we looking? You're looking at that lorry, Aaron, and you virtually stopped. Look round the corner and up. We're going towards my curve. Go around it and off we go. Okay, I'll help you through this. Try not to steer left any. Try not to steer left. Keep away and hold back. Clutch down. Keep away from this. First gear. Gas and bite and off we go. Well done. Sit back in your seat. Relax, Aaron. Yeah. Normal position. Are you staring at that? Are you staring at that car then? A little bit. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we need that, definitely. Good, we've got second and slowed. Is the space okay? Okay, we're gonna look for a place where we can park somewhere on the left. Where would be least intrusive with cars coming past us? Um past this bit. Okay. Okay, that seems good. It's a nice little spot. When do we get slow? But roll. Now roll. Keep rolling. You're not close enough now. Put it in first gear. You've pressed the brake and run out of momentum. Keep creeping. Creep. Signal left, Aaron. Clutch down a little. Keep looking up. You're staring at the kerb. Keep creeping until you've finished your steer. When are we neither going towards or away from the kerb? Keep moving until you can absolutely categorically say you've finished. You finish. keep staring at the kerb. Don't stare at the kerb, just look ahead. You've not finished your steer because you're still moving your wheel. Keep moving your car, Aaron, and we'll go over the speed bump because there's no one behind. Go slowly though. Good. Look ahead. Do yeah. you need to do any more steering to yeah. clutch down and stop? Talk to me. Um, what was going on with those two turns? I don't know. Okay, you were looking um, straight down at the floor. Um, we did turn off the main road into this one, and you were staring at the lorry to one side. Um, you can just turn your car off a little second. So I'm just going to grab my iPad out. Do you have any tissue? Do I have a tissue? Um. I don't, unfortunately. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, right. What I'd just like to show you is this. We're doing a left turn. We're coming up here to do a left turn. And all the way in, you were just staring, not staring, glancing at the lorry coming this way. Mm -hmm. Because of that, you didn't look about how sharp this corner was, how wide the road was, and what was happening in there. It's a classic case of driving sort of with avoidance you've got to try and do a little bit different than that what effect was the lorry having on us if he's over there and we're turning left no so you've got to start thinking about what we're doing now and try and correct a few things so what we did we got to our corner 
we slowed down, virtually stopped, and we were in first gear at that point. Do you think the corner was suitable for first? I think it was really sharp. No. It wasn't. What's what's the problem with that as well, Aaron? Steering. Steering. Um, nah, not really. Seven. Not too much. What about people behind us? What are they expecting you to do, Aaron? Go around that corner. Great. At a suitable speed. And you're virtually stopped. Yeah. Because you're staring at the lorry coming the opposite direction. Okay, you've got to try and work out this driving out of avoidance and driving out of fear. You've got to try and fix yourself with this. Because I can keep telling you, but at some point you've got to go, hmm, I'm going to change these things. Yeah. What happened with the left turn at the traffic light as we were coming up to it? Can't remember. That's fine. Uh, you did the same sort of thing. You were looking at everything else apart from the corner where you were going. Okay. Um, try and, like I said, think of the sharpness of the bend because it is the sharpness of the bend that determines what we do. Yeah. Got any problems with any little bits today? No. Um, a little bit rusty, aren't you? Okay. Um, should we go around that same block and have a go at those same couple of turns? Yes. Yeah? You gonna have a little go at them? Do you want them? Let's get it sorted. Stick that in the back. <laughs> After these two cars. Try not to look just in your yeah, just in your right mirror. Oh, should I wait for the bus as well? Oh, if you wish. Would you have gone then? Yep. Okay. But if you're unsure, Aaron, you wait. It's not a problem. All right, with a little bit of experience and a bit of practice, a bit of confidence, you'll be able to take gaps like that. Okay. After Don't, the black one, I'm maybe. Yeah. Going. Maybe. You're ready to change your mind again? Something might change. Okay. Has it changed? No, but I'm going to signal for the car. Good. Perfect. Perfect. Absolutely spot on. When did you check your blind spot? No. Yeah, good. Oh my goodness. Brake and stop. Okay. Put your handbrake back on again. Cool. Take it out of here if you wish. Cancel the signal. Cool. Relax your feet. Okay, it's not an issue. It's not a problem. But just think on what you do. And I put the gear, the clutch. What did you do with it? Took out too quick. Okay, cool. Ready to go again? <laughs> yeah. Do you want it? Why not? Do I need to take it off? Are you looking at your display? You're looking yeah. at your display to, to do what, Erin? See what's on, but I know it's on. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking at your display and it doesn't tell you anything of what's happening around you. Tells you absolutely nothing. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Do I need to take it off? Do you need to take the handbrake off? No, you tell me. No. What happens it, to it? It will do it all night, Okay. Right, so I need to signal for these people, don't I? Okay. staring right, where do we need to position? Are you doing that? Or are you staring right again? Have you steered round this bend properly? Erin, watch this. Now have a look. And it just goes there. You have to learn to steer around that left bend. Rather than going with what your brain's telling you. Your brain's saying, stare at the cars. 
but that's when to go. How to go is that left curve, and you've got to start doing it now. Yeah? Well, work with it. We're going to do a similar thing at this roundabout. You have to follow the left bend as well as looking with cars to the right. You cannot just stare at one thing. Okay? Good. Keep going. Well done. Keep going. We're going to turn left. Look at this. Well done. Why can't we signal at the moment? Because that can It's fine. Right, just keep going. You're fine. You can deal with this with the brake easily. And you're going to signal then. Yeah. Great. Now, have a listen and have a break and have a look. Who are you going to pick with how fast we're going? Pick second then, go on then. Now, do we need to break more or do we need to go? Do we need to follow your left bend? What do we need to do now? We need to go. To go then. Where should we be trying to look now? Now last time you were staring at this bollard in the curve, look where the silver car is. What should we do with the distance that we've got? Good! Good Aaron. Much better! But you cannot now waste time looking at the floor. Okay. Driving is not like that. All right, come on, work, improve. Have a listen. Now I'm trying not to go slower now. You've got to relax your hands because your steering's everywhere. But then after, use your feet a bit more. Go, if it's good. Yeah? Good, come on, work. Now, the next set of lights, we're again going to turn left. Have a look for them. Do you see them? Yes. How close is the van? What van? Behind us, oh, Aaron. Quite. Signal left early. Use your brake lightly. Good. Listen. Clutch down, keep braking. Keep braking. Look at the front of the queue. What gear at this speed? One. Second. Come on, Aaron. All right, look up. All right, you should be looking up there, not at the line. Good. How come you've just steered left? Think about which shape the kerb is. Wait there, not here. Put your handbrake on. I'll explain to you. Take it out of gear and relax a second. I'll help you with this all. You're steering left now. Is the left bend here? This is what we're getting at, Aaron. You've got to follow the shape of the road. Yeah? You stare at the floor and the front, and you work off where the front's pointing. That's not how it goes. Press the clutch, put it in first. Good, hold the steering wheel. We're going any second. Make sure you're following the shape of the road and then going around that left bend by looking really far. Not the floor. Good, off we go then. Good, are you looking at the floor again? No. You liar, you were. Come on, Aaron, up there. Up there! And what should we be doing? Good, come on then. Yeah, come on. Where your eyes are, are the things that cause you all your problems. You have to now learn, you've got to trust your peripheral vision, that looking where the red bus is, you can still deal with where you are here. And when you do that, look at the difference in your steering movements. Off the gas, we've got to deal with the bus. Look at the oncoming cars. We're going to keep out near the central line, Aaron. Clutch down. We can't go past it yet. Brake more then. Look at the oncoming car. Can we go after this one? Same as moving off. What gear? Can we go after the white one? I don't think so. Creep a little. There's a big gap. I'd like you to creep, Aaron. Trust me. Creep. Check your mirror now. Move out and off we go. Gas. I need you to go on the gas. I need you to go on the gas. Good. Check this mirror. Come back in. Second gear. Good. Now we're going to do the same with the parked car. Keep out near the centre line. We can't go past yet. Look at the minibus, Aaron. Get slower. Brake more. We're going to go after the minibus. Slower. Slower. Off the brake. First gear. Gas and bite and off we go. Check your mirrors again. Well done. You have to change your car's speed. It's really important. Quick second. Now, we're going to take the next left. Who's behind us? Good. Clutch all the way up. Ignore that. Look round there. And follow the shape of the bend. How fast to go round this corner? You staring forward? Were you staring there? Yes, you were. And that is your thing that's crucifying your driving. No gear. No. Slow. Look at the space. Don't steer left from the van. You're fine with these. Distance a bit more now. And now carry on. 
Okay, good. Distance to this side. And we've got to share this space, haven't we? Nice. Good. You have another little go at parking. A little touch further up. Keep going for a bit. And here's good. Oh, we can go further. Do we tell people? Clutch down. Oh my goodness, what happened then? You just stayed away from it, Aaron. I'm not sure why you're going over here. I thought we said in here. Park in here. Yeah. You could, but how are you going to do that safely? Press the clutch, Aaron. Put it in first gear. Tense on that. Okay, now we're still fine in here. Check around everywhere. In fact, put your handbrake on. I've got it on the foot brake because I had to stop because you were just steering away from the kerb. Check around and then move up there. Good. So, and we'll just stop somewhere there. That's fine. Clutch fully down. Secure it all up. Alright, no panic. What do you think you should have done to go in that little section of road? Signaled then? a lot further. Well, maybe. Do you think you should have changed your speed? Yeah. How come you didn't? Where are we looking? At that bit of road. Yeah, you're steering to avoid stuff rather than looking how sharp mm. it is. That's your instinct with your driving, ever. And you've got to try and do something about it, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. What's your thoughts on the last little block that we've just done? Went better than the first time. It did do, didn't it? All right. You've done really well with the roundabout, by the way. Both occasions. Pretty good. Okay. You changed your speed. You adjusted what was going on. And that's all we're trying to do with our car. And to be honest, um, even the had a couple of meeting situations there. We had a couple where there's parked cars on the left and there's people coming the other way. And naturally, instinctively, you don't do anything with your car's speed. You just tend to just steer away from things. When there's a parked car on our side, whose problem is it? Mine. Okay. So what did we do with those two situations on the road just back there? It's carried on going. But how did we do that? What did we have to do first of all? Slow down. We did. Do you remember those two situations? No. With the cars on that road there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What happened then? I don't know. You know why you don't know? Because I'm not paying attention. Exactly. Why aren't you paying attention? Why don't you see things? Concentrate on something else. Mm -hmm. And you're looking at that little patch over the floor, over the bonnet. That's the be all and end all to driving. And that's the bit that you're struggling with. And I can encourage, I can ask questions about um, where you should be looking and ask you questions about certain things. But <coughs> even when we'll come up to a corner, perhaps. Um, there was one where we had the van close behind us before. We waited at a set of lights and we did a left turn. Where you were steering left before you got to the left bend. Oh yeah, I know what one you mean. Mm -hmm. You told me to assess the road. Yeah, and I said, when we go round, we're going to follow the shape of the road and then look up as far around the corner as yeah, we can. And I just and you went towards the... Yeah, yeah, nah, and, yeah, I know the one. Nah, I'm going to look at these things in front of me. <laughs> and that is a constant, constant battle with your driving okay so you're gonna have to unfortunately submit to what I'm telling you to do you've got to get your brain to submit and trust me yeah not gonna let you crash okay if you don't submit if you continue letting your brain be stubborn with it and I'm not saying you're stubborn um, but if you continue letting your brain be stubborn with it and don't get yourself to look further, you're going to be here a long, long, long time doing this driving. Yes. Right? Because without you looking far, 
what I have to then do is go into quite heavy full talk through to get you through things and it even proves that when we're doing a little bit of a, a reflection and analysis here where I ask you about things and you don't really know because you've paid little attention and that's not a, a sort of like I have a pop at you it's literally because of where your eyes are at yeah okay because your eyes are so close everything that I ask you to do is then very very reactive and that's why you don't see stuff that's why you're struggling okay is there anything else I can help you with regarding looking further no, up the road? it's just myself. It's just your mindset with it. Alright. Um, okay. Let's get working. We've got to come out of this little road. <laughs> and we're actually going to do a U-turn back the other way. We're going to come back this way, are we? So we're going to go out Go on. Okay, I'll tell you then. We're going to come out of this road and do a U-turn and come back this way. So go out of here and turn. Okay. Come up here and turn right. Yeah, and instantly, look what you're doing. You're, right. you're staring oh right goodness. at that floor. You're staring right at the floor because you're worried about doing that rather than actually looking at what it's like. Yes. And this is what exactly what I'm getting at. Okay, and you have to submit with this. You have to then go, okay, I've just got to trust Ashley. I've got to trust what he's putting me through and I've got to do a little bit better with these things he's asking of me. Because it's only this looking far. Twice you've done that roundabout and you've been brilliant. You've looked really nice and far and early. And I've said, do we need to slow? Do we need to go? And I've got you looking up. And when I've done that on the approach, you've coped with it magnificently. But when you look at the floor, it goes pear-shaped. Because you've got no idea of me asking questions that I ask. There's no point in asking you questions because you haven't seen it. What I've got to do, Aaron, is if you're here, I've got to ask you a question in good time that it's beneficial. But when I ask you a question sometimes, you've got no idea about what I'm talking about because your eyes are so close. So therefore, I have to then revert to direct instruction to do it. And that's not nice when that happens. That's when things seem a little bit barky but unfortunately I can't do anything but do that and it's all down to looking at the floor yeah yeah come on submit I'm with you on this I'm here to help but you have to play your part because it can't do it for you you're gonna have to go off and get this yeah and the way that you're gonna do it is to trust this looking further as you do things remember what we've said if you look far you'll still see close look at the red car still see my hand moving look at the red car you can see it can't you now look at my hand can you see the red car no this is what we've done we've done that before haven't we yeah come on you have to trust this now rather than going with Erin's instincts it's difficult because Erin's instincts take over you've got to submit and you've got to go right Make sure, I'm going to try my hardest to trust Ash. He's going to save me if we try and die. Yeah, which I will. Just get looking a bit more. Should we go? Yeah, come on, off we go. Right. <laughs> Who's around us, Aaron? Nobody. Okay, good to go then. I'll move slowly. Turn him right, so do put a right signal on now. We have to deal with the bend, but looking at the floor doesn't do that. You have to look at it round your right mirror. Do we need to go faster or slow? You're going faster. Look out your right window. Good steer round. Now get looking right and left. Right and left solely. Right and left solely. It's all you need to do. And look all the way at the other end of the road. Honestly, brilliant. Good. Just relax your grip and straighten up with that side, not the middle. Yeah? That was great. Did you spend much time looking at the floor there? No. Sorry to sound. I told you so, but I told you so. Yeah? How much 
much space have we got? What do you think you need to do with this car? Can we go in? You're steering. You're, st you're not slowing enough. Now you are. Now I think we've got enough room. Check. Distance to this one needs to be a bit bigger. Now we come back to the green van and the red car. Look at the space. Share the space. What's the road like up there? So what should we do again? Good. You've just got to change your car's speed to suit these things. Not just steering, avoiding stuff. It's really important. Different mindset. Distance to these cars has to be good. We're going to turn left at the end, please. Well done. Now, can we see far? Signal left. Okay, so I'm going to help you again. Listen, we're at idle. Clutch down. Go slower. Have a quick look right. We can't see. Brake more. Go slower. Don't look right anymore. Roll. First gear and steer around this yellow line. Good. Now look right and left and decide. What should we do? How much better? How can we straighten in though? Come on, Aaron, we can go. Too much. Good. But you straightened as you came out of the junction after you'd done that left steer. Honestly, not sure why. I sort of am because you look where you point. Yeah? But was that better? Absolutely good. Have you seen the lights? Try not to steer away from the grey one though. Be ready to stop for the grey one, not just steering. How do you do the brake? Good. Normal position again. Look past the white car and at your junction to do your stopping. What's happening at the junction? The car's still going. Okay, could we take it out of gear then? Or is there a lull after the silver one? No. There is. Put it in first. Keep watching. Do you think it's going to be us yet? Mm, yeah, in a minute. Yeah, good. So there's a lull now. Oh, looks as though the blue car's just gone. Silver one from that same road. Is there anyone after it? No. So the sensors yes. on the traffic lights. Yeah, there is. So the sensors on traffic lights should pick up the gap now. And within, I would say, now. I would say within five, we're going to be going. There you go. Good. Anticipate. So quick glance, one and the other. We're done now. Now carry on. Better, good. What's your normal position, Aaron? From the curb. And what's your road like? Good. Change then. Through the gears. Nice job. Still a little bit strong that hand, isn't it? Okay, good. straight looking at your junction as we're coming in good what do you think we should do with what we're seeing at the junction handbrake's brilliant what gear are we going to need two do you think to start off no first gear then yeah good and try and work out what's happening at the junction therefore giving you an idea of when we're going to go well the car's still coming Brill. and that car so sit hasn't back, left sit yet. back and relax yeah we're not going to be going until this that car is finished so that one finishing can probably be one of your triggers, can't it? Well done. There's two lanes that go around here as well, Erin. So we're going to take a big wide course all the way around to that furthest left side. Okay? Good. So they're finishing. And then... Could the... that be one of, one of our little triggers? It yeah. is, so creep and off we go. Good, little squeeze of gas, don't steer yet. Accelerate away, accelerate, get second gear now, and now look to your right, round where you're gonna be aiming. How much steer to get around that corner, you're done. Bit more steer, bit more gas, straighten up with the left curb though, because you're steering away from the left curb, Aaron, rather than straightening up with it. Okay, take the next left, how close is the car behind? Do we need to slow for this sharpness of bend? No. Follow the shape of it. Where do we go? Which side are we going to pick? 
the left side. Great. Cover the lights on. Have a listen. Do we need to go slow and idle? Yes, we do. Now, what gear will we need then? One. Keep braking while we're doing it. Brake a bit more. Good. Keep rolling, no. And then... I pressed too hard, didn't you I? You did, yeah. So, is there a lull in traffic now? Could it be us? Yeah. It is. Off we go. Good. And where should we try and look as we come out of this filter lane? Are you following your left kerb? Far. Is it clear, right? And what should we do with the speed, Aaron? Is it clear? Yeah. Good. Well done. Go on. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Now we're going to go ahead at the roundabout. Now start looking at the roundabout. Good. Is it clear? Yeah. Keep going then. And follow your left kerb. You're going to hit the kerb unless you follow it. Follow this. Follow this. Sorry. Follow the central line. You're looking forward. Signal left. Oh it's because you look forward. And it always goes pear shaped when you look forward. Always. Second gear. Good. Far, Erin. And drive. And drive. Do you see how it goes? Yeah. And it's always linked to that. Good. Well done. You even got your gear on the corner there because you look lovely and far. And you set it and you fixed it. Good. So big link, Erin looks forwards, Ash has to get involved, it goes pear shaped, or Erin looks really far, and Ash can sit here and relax and chill out on a Saturday morning. Yeah? Good, come on. Off the gas, this is a problem. Who's coming the other way though? Nobody. Check your mirrors, is it clear? Yeah. Go around it then. Squeeze your gas and go. Squeeze your gas and go. Which mirrors to come back in safely? That one. Good. And what's your road like? Clear. Where should we follow? The the Brilliant, yes, you're doing it. Cracker Aaron, well done, good. You can do this, I know you can. Good, well done, keep going. Flash an amber light up ahead. Do you know what that means? It's gonna go green. Good, it means give way to people on the crossing though. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. However, is there anyone there? No. Yeah. Is that pedestrian gonna press the button? You're going slightly faster, you shouldn't really be. Is this one an issue? Could have been. The crossing could have been an issue. So as risk increases, what do we do? Slow down. Good. As risk decreases, what do we do? Speed up. Perfect. And we're a little close. Good. It's because you're timid and scared of your position, that side of your car. We've shown you how to do it. Trust it. Give in to your instinct. Your instinct's got to go, no, not using that anymore. Yeah? I've got to listen to a few things Ash is saying. But well done. Last 10 has been magnificent. Loads better. Come on. All the time now, trust. Good. Now, the lights we're going to turn left. We can't signal because there's a side road. Who's behind us? Use your brake. Oh, we turn shit. left. Clutch down, Erin, and we're going over there. Let go of the brake. Let go of the brake. Let go of the brake. Put it in first gear, and we're going over here. Okay. Forward and move. Go forward and move. And stop staring at the floor. Look up. We need to follow the shape of the road. Stay right now. Stop. I was going right. I know you were. Wow. Doesn't matter about that, but the key is, even there, as you're trying to do that, you're staring at the bonnet. This is similar as before. Do you remember where you steered left where you shouldn't have done? Yeah. Our curb here is pointing that way. Isn't it? And you're going towards it. That's not following the shape of the road. What should we do while we're sat here? Good. They're stopping. It's going to be us in a mo. All right. Good. Compose. Off we go. Signal down for left now. And drive. That's the one. Look, that's done. Now where should we try and look? Left curb and up. Follow your left curb straight with the central line. Better. Good. Well done. That's not a good gear change, though. Oh my goodness. What was no, that? no. Leave it. How do you do a smooth gear change, Aaron? Sound. Yes, because your oh foot was still on the gas. So try not to snatch at things. You've got to work sharper, but you've still got to be smooth. Try third gear now. Good. You're still too heavy handed. You drifted that way on a gear change. Come on, look further. Again, you've got third and done what? Slowed. What's the road like? It's okay, isn't it? Is this park van going to be a problem? Yeah. So how do we deal with this with speed? Have a look in your right mirror. Do we need to slow? No. You 
didn't change distance whatsoever. That's a shame. We're talking about what with your normal position, Aaron? Yeah, all right, you can pull the face, don't worry. But think about what we're talking about with normal position. Where should we be? How far from this side? The car width. The car oh, width? Let that door. Car door. And you weren't. I wasn't. You just binned it. Why is it that we're trying to be a door's width away? In case they get out. Or a kid runs off. You can't just go with steering. It's really important. Now, what's risk doing? It's getting a bit bigger. So what should we do? Good. Good. Brilliant. We're through. Perfect. That was your normal position, Aaron. Good. When we're through, what did you do with your speed? You've got to start adjusting your foot to suit and manage risk. So is risk getting bigger now? Good, be careful, ready to stop. Gas. We couldn't have stopped before that line. Okay. No way in the world. All right? So once you reach that point of no return, go. Yeah? Closer people behind. Keep you in all position from wherever. What should you be doing with your speed of your car? What's coming on at the junction? Leave the handbrake. No. How come we've stopped back here? It's because your hand orientated. Clutch down. Clutch down. We need a lower gear, Aaron. Good. Off we go. Good. It's because you're looking at the floor. Yeah. Come on. What's your road like? Who's who's coming past you to your right? Quick second. Come on. Snap here. Good. Normal position from which side? Good. happening to risk. We're through. Good. Nice job. Nice job. Next set of lights. We're going to turn left, please. That's on the signal. You know about them. Have a look. There's still another one, isn't there? So just check your mirrors and just gently brake. Clutch down. Don't need your hands yet, Aaron. It's just your feet. Try not to stop too early like you did, did last time. Get looking at the junction rather than the floor. What should we do with our feet? What should we do? Good. Now, with what's happening at the junction rather than staying at the back of him, what should we do? Yeah, good, good. Try not to look at the back of this car. It's irrelevant. Utterly irrelevant. It doesn't tell you any information that you need That's to do this properly. Good. Now there's a lull, a gap, isn't there? So we're going to be going in a minute. Great. Who could be catching us up this side? Uh, Good. What's it like? What's your corner like that we're going around? Quite. So we're quite slow anyway. So do we need to slow down? Try not to steer yet. Try not to steer yet. No, we don't need to look over there. You're looking the wrong way. Look this way and straighten up with the central line. Look at the space. We're going to share this road. Is it shareable? Yeah. Good. Well done. Nice job. Where are you going to do with the black car? You're steering left towards these, Erin. Where are you going to slow for the black one? Yeah. Stop then. Clutch down, stop. Perfect. Good. Now off we go. Good. Is it clear? Yeah. Good. Off we go. Good. Off we go. Well done. Thanks, buddy. So you have to change your speed to what's going on rather than just staring at the car. When they stopped and waited for you okay. best thing you can do is move is get on with it absolutely well done keep going Aaron. keep going keep going we're taking the next left over the bridge well done is it sharp no ignore that way you just have one glance and that's it onto it not the floor Aaron. not the floor past the red car past the red van sorry cancel the signal good now anyone overtaking us again we are going to take the next left, keep away. Anyone behind, how close are they? How far round that corner can you see? Very. So what are you going to do with your speed? Stay straight, brake more. What gear are you going to pick then? Now look far, you're looking forward. What do we need to do with the car with what we're seeing? That one's fine. That one's fine. Good, you're done. Gas, bite. Gas and bite, brilliant. Really good, Aaron. 
loads better. Good. Could someone come round past this white van? Follow the shape of your road, try not to steer away from stuff that you don't like. So we're following the shape of this left curve now, a lamppost distance round if you can. Good. Notice what happened when you leaned, you got a better view. Do you need to slow now? No. So continue, good. Well done. Much better. What position on this corner are we gonna go? Yeah, around where the central line would be. Are you following it? Are you moving your hands? No, Aaron. You weren't, you were going away from it, you would have hit the curb. Yeah? You have to move your hands. Keep this side and turn right, please. Can you see far right and left? No. What should we do with the speed then? Clutch down. Roll slow. Now can we go? Good. That wasn't your instinct to do that, was it? You would have just tried to steer around there, wouldn't you? Yes. Okay, good. Off we go then. staring at that silver car. Look where you're going to go and go slower, Aaron. Clutch down. Stay this way a little bit, you're going towards the silver one. Keep rolling. Now, gas and bite. Steer a little to the right. Steer a bit more. In fact, clutch down, brake to a stop. That'll do. <laughs> okay, secure your car. I want to finish on a real positive. I don't want to put you into that and then have a bad experience towards the end of the lesson. Okay, we're okay here for a bit. I know we're sat in the middle of the road. If anyone comes, they can all get around us, so we're okay. All right, from a very tough start to that end, what do you think? Still wasn't great, was it? No, I agree. Um, continuity of learning. What did I say to you last night? Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's difficult when um, I know you you had the funeral to go to last week, it's understandable, there's no issues with that whatsoever, I totally get it, but the continuity of learning is really, really important to this driving, alright? Were we battling a little with previous, everything. with everything? Alright, yeah. good. What have you picked up from today? Is it anything new? No. Okay, alright. Um, how are we going to do this going forward then? What are we gonna what are we gonna try and do to, to rectify these situations? Is there anything with what I've said about trying to not go with your instinct as much? Is that the hard bit? Yeah. Yeah it is. Cool. What, what do you think? Do you think we could have done anything differently today? No, just me. And it's not a blame game, so honestly I'm not too fussed on that. We're in this together, Aaron. We're going to try and work together to, to sort this out. But um, is there a link between um, where you look and how the lesson goes? Yeah. Yeah. What was that roundabout like about 10, 15 minutes ago? It's okay. Mm, you don't remember it. Where I had to get involved with the steering because you were just staring over the front. You didn't follow the left bend. You didn't follow the round to the yeah. right and then had to pull you to the left and then shortly after that you seem to get your stuff into into gear and get going. All right, uh, what do you think we should be doing next time? Steering, not steering but looking. Definitely. Observations are the key to driving so mm -hmm. that's what we should be trying to do. All right, I know you don't want to be here. We'll wrap it up. I will uh, get the car up onto the path. Good effort, well done. Sam, you can turn your car off, Aaron.